Have you blown your own mind with what you've done? Did you ever anticipate you could do what you're doing? No, never, never in a lifetime. I knew I had the talent. I knew that if I worked hard enough and I did the little things. Bonds hits one high, he hits it deep, and he hits it out of here! First time I ever saw him, I was facing him. He was a rookie with the Pirates, and I was 60 feet 6 inches away, and uh, I thought this guy was, you know, cocky as can be. I mean, total peacock. And he walked around like he'd been on that field for 10 years, and here he is, his rookie year. Kind of ticked me off. Anyway, I had him 0-2 count. I tried to back a slider on the outside corner, and I leaked it out. Caught a little bit too much strike zone. And he went down, bow, hits this thing. Looks like a one-iron, real low-line drive. And I'm thinking, well, it's got a hook. Foul. It stays straight. He knocked it out of the ballpark. But I was impressed. I never forgot it. was simply the greatest that I've ever seen. And Bonds hits one high! Hits it deep! 756! Listen to this crowd! Upper deck! They want to see Barry again. Biggest deal in baseball history finally went through today as the San Francisco Giants signed free agent outfielder Barry Bonds to a six-year, $43.75 million deal. It's a lot of money, but there's only one Barry Bonds. It's like a boyhood dream that comes true for me. It is out Here the line makes the catch. Bonds, nice catch. Bonds goes. Bonds right. This is still a base for Bonds. Not a problem. I didn't even know what the contract was. I was just like, I'm going home. This, that's, I'm going to go home. This is where I belong. That one's high. Deep right field. This has a chance. see Barry again. He invigorated the Bay Area. He brought baseball to the forefront. You look at San Francisco and, you know, I, there's not a player that impacted, uh, you know, what happened here as far as the club staying here, uh, their success more than Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds was the difference from one year to the next. Bonds goes on the first pitch. Reed is up early, but Bonds has done it. Barry Bonds has become the second man in the history of baseball with 40 homers and 40 steals in one season. And he will take the base home. And he hits one high to right. I'm having a great time. I'm having a great time. Bonds, he hits it hard and deep. And listen to this crowd. Upper deck. Uh -oh. And he hits one high. And he hits one deep. And this one is on of here. I don't believe it. I just felt like he got better over the course of his career. He, he just, he, he became a better hitter all the way around. Breaks his bat, deep to right, at the wall, out of here! No way! Center field, Butler going back, going back, and this one is gone! A three-run homer by Bonds ties the game! Turn to Harvard! We are going home! Out of here! Unbelievable, and this is going to be 
some celebration. Yeah, baby. My job is to play baseball. And <clears throat> that's what I want to do. The pitch to Bob. will go back near the track at the wall and he makes the catch. At the left, Bonds will go back, spin around and he makes the catch. When we came to the park, we had a pretty good idea what he was going to do. And then there were other times where we were amazed at what he did that we didn't think he could do. Here comes Bonds, he gets to it. Here's his throw, it's on line. delivers and Bond swings a drive deep into left center way back there the ball game is over Barry Bonds throws out the go-ahead run at the plate and moments later he launches one goodbye happy birthday Barry Bonds I drive left center Made the game look like Nintendo. He would he would be on deck. I'm with the Marlins. Charles Johnson and I are sitting there. He's laughing, leaning on the bat. He's not even watching what's going on. Next thing you know, we're bringing in a lefty, Vic Derensburg. Barry Bonds hasn't even looked who's pitching. I'm, I'm not exaggerating. Walks up to the dun 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 dun. Dr. Dre, by the way, was his walk up song. Mm -hmm. Here goes Barry with his feelers, nice looking tight, two five, getting in the box. Next thing you know, <laughs> oh oh, slider, gone in the water. Now the game's not that easy. I'm trying to, I'm, you know, get timing like Little League, right? Oh, yeah, there's the old Tommy Amansky on deck. Bonds hasn't even looked. He's talking to somebody in the stands. Oh, oh, slider. Boom. Did he do it again? Oh, yes, he did. Hasta la vista, baby. My goodness. You don't know what's coming. I mean, so many times I remember Mark Grayson saying, Barry knows what's coming. But, you know, Mark, I wish I did. <laughs> Bonds, all right. This is what You know, they told me my prime was over at 33. Bonds hits it high. They, they tell you your prime's over at 34. I think you're as good as you feel. He absolutely destroyed a baseball. That was ridiculous. That was the third deck. And we didn't think that that was possible. I got to face the best. He challenged me, and it was the best at bat I ever had. Here's Bonds, but the most damage that Bonds could do now is bring the Giants to within a run. The two of them got into it. It was mano a mano. It was a, a great closer against the great slugger. There's a little bit of story behind this. Eric gonna kill me, but... <laughs> Eric and I played ball in Japan. We went to Japan tour. I told him, you know, you, you throw 100 miles an hour, challenge me. If you get three or more runs and it doesn't have anything to do with it, you always talk about, you know, I'm gonna get you. Let's just go man up and deal with it. The pitch to Bonds, fence ball on the inside corner, strike two call. He could go right after him because if he hit a home run, he still had a chance to pick up a save and, and the Dodgers could still win the game. I'm coming dead at you, and you hit it, you name it. I mean, in an 0-2 count, he backdoors him with a breaking ball and he misses by maybe, maybe he didn't even miss. It was a great pitch. Curveball, he tried to backdoor him there and just missed with it. Little outside, little bit low. But that's what ticked me off. So you see me look at him like, hey dog, I'm looking dead, I'm like, that wasn't a deal, dog, <laughs> you know? And as that at bat kept going on and on and on, you could see that Bonds was measuring him out. A soft breeze blowing out toward McCovey Cove. Here's the pitch. 
fastball riding up and in. Now the stadium radar gun got that one at 100 miles an hour. It's hard to stay off a ball 98 miles an hour up. And then he threw one at my rib cage. Um, I was just trying to just hang in there because of the challenge. It was that he challenged me, man up, and I was like, hey, if he hits me, break a rib, he's gonna have to break a rib, but I'm not running. Here's Gagne's 2-2 pitch. Swing, and there's a shot hit high, deep, and foul. Gray's swing was so quick that he, he pulled it foul and way out into San Francisco Bay. When he pulled a couple foul down the right field line, when Gagne was throwing 100 miles an hour, we knew that this was an impact that people were going to be talking about. Swing, there's a shot in the deep right center field. It's on its way. It is gone. And Barry Bonds has launched one. The Giants are on the board. Number 662 for Bonds. And finally, he crushed one out toward the deepest part of the yard for a home run. It was just a wild moment. It was a physical moment. Bonds beat him, it was, it was classical. I got to face the best, he challenged me, and it was the best at bat I ever had. Center field, hit low, this baby's gonna go out of here! This was the first series that Bray had ever played at Yankee Stadium. This was the house that Ruth built. The home run at Yankee Stadium is one of my all-time favorites. The reason it was great, it was, okay, here comes Bonds into Yankee Stadium. Now Barry Bonds comes up, let's listen in. Number 25, Barry Bonds, designated hitter. Number 25. The anticipation was, is, was he going to hit a home run? I mean, as a kid, I grew up a Yankee fan. So he came to Yankee Stadium, and he absolutely destroyed a baseball halfway into the upper deck in Yankee Stadium. The pitch. There's a long one to right field. Forget about it. This one is headed for New Jersey. High into the upper deck. Barry Bonds with a spectacular three-run homer. And he has electrified Yankee Stadium. I know in my broadcast of the moment on the radio, I say something like that. Yan Barry Bonds has electrified Yankee Stadium. And listen to this crowd at Yankee Stadium. Because they went nuts. When I saw that, I'm like, I've never seen anybody hit a ball as far as that. And uh, you can kind of tell, it's like, looking back, it's like, wow, this guy's kind of, not, he's that special. You could look up and you say, well, over there, that's where Maris hit one. That's where Ruth hit one. That's where Mantle hit one. And on that day, Barry Bonds carved out a section of the stands where everybody said that's where Bonds hit one. That could well have been uh, you know, around 500 feet if, if that upper deck had not been there. He had this ability not to just hit a home run, but to hit one as far as anybody had hit one in that ballpark. The chair that it hit, what it looked like looking down at home plate, it was just it was, it blew my mind. They went nuts for, for Barry Bonds, who had one of the most astonishing home runs that the, that venerable, great old ballpark had ever seen. When I called it on, on radio, I think I, I exaggerated by quite a lot. Bonds hits one a mile. This one is way back. It is out of here! 140 rows back into the bleachers. And it's 11 to 10. Die hard, boys, die hard. It was in 2002 against the Angels in the World Series. Uh, hit the ball in the upper tank and right field. Then they showed the dugout for the Angels and Tim Salmon. He says, that's the furthest ball I've ever seen hit. He hit a home run in uh, Qualcomm Stadium in San Diego off the scoreboard. The pitch to Bonds, and Bonds hits a long one to deep right field. This one is a monster. It is out of here off the scoreboard. And we didn't think that that was possible. 
he hit one in batting practice in Denver that uh, it hit the purple line, which was the mile high line that people in Denver, they don't believe it. And then we pull out the tape and we show them that he did it and they still don't want to believe it. Home runs, home run. That's home runs, a home run. Boom me, cheer me. Those are gonna cheer me, gonna cheer me. Those are gonna boom me, are gonna boom me. So what? But they still don't come see the show. Stadium is the best show I ever go to in my all my baseball. They they say Barry sucks louder than anybody out there. And you know what? You'll see me in left field going just like this because you know what? You got to have some serious talent to have 53,000 people saying you suck. I'm proud of that. Bond. He hits it high. Another one out of here. And Dodger Stadium, they're on their feet. And I can't ever remember this. Not here. Not for a giant player. Whoops, he's done it again. I mean, it's a joke. Holy mackerel. When you look at the numbers, and they're pretty stupid when you look at them, you're, they're amazing. Karen is something that won't get reached by me. Um, <clears throat> I don't have enough years left and um, time to make up um, being pitched around as often as I get. It just doesn't seem like it should be here right this soon. Not, not yet. That ball is drilled to deep right, and that could be number 400. It is. He's done it. He has become the first man in the history of the game to hit as many as 400 home runs and steal as many as 400 bases. Deep to right field. This one is on its way to McCovey Cove. Number 500. It's into the water. Oh, unbelievable. John Dunstan told me I was going to hit 71 home runs. I told him he was crazy. There's a high drive. Deep into right center field to the big part of the ballpark. So I made a stupid bet. <laughs> and Sean Dunstan, that CL 500 coupe that I owe you, you got it. There's a high drive. Number 72. Oh, man. 72 and counting for Barry Bob. And he broke it, and he will buy me a new Mercedes Benz. Here's the payoff. A float of the bonds, and he hits it high. He hits it deep, and it is up here. Number 73. Here's the 2 1. Swing it along one. This one is way back. It is.
Shift is on for Bonds. Bonds hits one to left center field. He hits it well. Let's go back. It is out of here. Number 700 for Barry Bonds. Aaron, Ruth, and now Bonds. The 700 home run club as Bonds steps on home plate. And listen to this crowd. Bonds hits one high. Hits it deep to center. Out of here. 7.15. Bonds passes Babe Ruth. He is second on the all-time home run list. And Bonds hits one high. Hits it deep. It is out of here. 7.15. I got to thank all of you, all the fans here in San Francisco, my dad. Thank you. His legacy as a giant is he got this ballpark built. Barry's not shy to say it, that without him, probably this ballpark does not get built. Barry was the guy, let's be honest. Uh, you look at the numbers and they're pretty stupid when you look at them, you're, they're amazing. He's a guy you showed up to the ballpark to watch. He packed the house every night. Uh, he went out and did amazing things. Probably uh, alongside Willie Mays is the greatest giant to ever put on a uniform. Every time he came up the bat, you were looking for a homer. You don't see that anymore. You know, every time, I mean, people were packing the stands, packing the ballparks just to watch him play. After a while, we just shook our heads and, and were amazed at, at the different things that would happen to him and all the different things that he could do on a baseball field. It was an absolute pleasure to watch him play every day. I just want to thank you guys so, so much for giving me that opportunity to be able to entertain a city that has embraced me and my family for so many years. All of you guys have made my dream come true. All of you here in San Francisco, the ownership, this building, the streets, the hell, we ain't going nowhere ever. The Giants are here for life. And we all have to thank each and every one of you guys for giving us this opportunity to stay here. I love you and thank you so much. Aww.